Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. And so the B saga continues. So, um, if you saw yesterday's video, you know what happened to our second hive here. Well, once I put them back in and um, went, inside, went inside for a few hours and came back, the bees were gone. They, um, they swarmed and they left and I can't begin to tell you the sadness that I felt um, knowing that my bees were gone and knowing that there was nothing I could have done. Um, that the video prior to yesterday's video, I noticed that there was a lot of bearding on the front of this hive and um, I didn't go in it right away because I was actually filming at the moment when I first noticed it. And at first I felt really sad because I didn't come and check right away. And Mr. Homestead Hart was like, no, don't feel sad. There's a reason why you didn't go into that hive. And sure enough, once we really went through the hive and saw what was inside, there were a lot of dead hornets. Um, you all in the comment section shared that those were bald faced hornets and they were in the hive. There were a few on the ground and I picked up one and I kept it and I showed it in yesterday's video. So they attacked our hive and um, that was our strongest hive right there. I mean, the population was growing rapidly and they were producing um, uh, Honey, they were doing such a wonderful job, that hive, you know. Uh, so she's gone. And um, Lead Farmer and Lady Lead did a video last night. And they were sharing um, that it might not be too late for me to try to catch them because they would not have gone far. And um, I know we have a large homestead, but... This is our tree line right here on this side. And actually the bees were in this little bush area right here. And so it, I guess in my thinking, if they flew away, I'm thinking they maybe would have went in this direction, somewhere near the trees. I'm hoping not in that direction. I'm not sure. But what I did was he asked if I still had the new boxes that they came in and I do. I kept them in the barn for reasons unknown. I just kept them. And look, I also kept the frames in the house that the bees attacked. And I have a poor little lone bee right here. Um, that just emerged from one of the cells this morning as I was bringing it outside. So I'm gonna put this little little lady or on, the, on one of the frames and I'm gonna hope that they will accept her in that other hive. This frame still has a lot of capped brood. So I'm gonna take these frames and put them in the weaker hive. And uh, Lead Farmer and Lady Lead said that they will accept them and um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this little lady on the frame here if I can. All right. So I got her on the frame. And I'm going to take her and put her inside of this hive here in just a moment. Just gonna slide her back down in that box for a second. But in the meantime, I am going to take my new boxes and I'm actually, I have both of them and I'm just gonna take them and put them out, um, I guess in this area over here. I'm gonna put both of them out. This is the box that they came in right here. And this is the larger box that the deep frames came in and so i'm just going to take this box i'm not going to put the lid on i'm just going to take the box because they said that perhaps 
um, they will smell the queen's pheromones because that may still be inside this box. And I believe that because the lid was on and it hasn't been out in the elements. So just going to stick this box over in the along that tree line over there. And I'm hoping that that they will find her, find their way back home. I see him. I see him. It's just an itty bitty cluster of them. I don't know how I'm going to get to them. Let me suit up. I see them, y'all. I haven't even done chores this morning. And didn't sleep at all last night over what happened to our bees. And it wasn't even the fact of the cost of the nuke. I mean, when you take care of something, you, you grow to love it, right? And I'm in love with our bees. And what happened to them was devastating. There are bees still on the ground, and I'll show you that later. But I've never done this before. I've never tried to catch a, a bees that have swarmed from a tree branch. But I've watched Lead Farmer and Lady Lead do it, and Mr. H is not here. So. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna grab the nuke box. I put some frames, two frames inside of the box. And then I'm going to put the lid on.
All right, I'm giving them a second to see if they were clustered up around the queen on this one little bitty bitty branch and I just broke it and dropped the whole thing down in the box. So I don't know. I think I might just get my hands and scoop the rest of them off the branch just in case she's in that little cluster there as well. So I don't know. I'm just trying to get them in the box. Y'all are not going to believe this. She landed on my shoulder. The queen landed right here on my shoulder. And when I saw her, when I saw, I knew it was her because she's so big. When I saw her, I just put my hand around her and then just kind of peeled her off of me and dropped her in the box. She landed on my shoulder. Go figure. All right, I'm going to go back over here going to seal this box up. I think what I'm going to do is just give them a few minutes to something on me. Okay. All right. So Oh, little one, you trying to look y'all trying to sting me. All right, so what I'm going to do is give them a moment to settle down. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm going to give them a moment to settle down. Trying to save y'all little ones. <laughs> so, um, man, she was really trying to get me too. I think this is the one that tried to sting me. Trying to protect her queen. I get it. My head all crooked. So I'm going to give them just a couple of minutes to settle down here. Y'all, Lead Farmer and Lady Lead, thank y'all so much because I never would have thought to even look in the bush. Well, we did look last night, or yesterday evening rather, we did look. But we didn't see them. We didn't see them, so I don't know. We did look. All right, y'all, so now I'm gonna, once I close that box up, I'm not going to take the lid off of that box right away. I put a few of their frames back in and I'm going to put the lid on that and I might leave them just like that for 24 hours or so, perhaps in the barn where it's cool and shady and um, I don't know, give them an opportunity to gather themselves and regroup and because the hornets did attack this area so many of you said in the comment section Jax so many of you said in the comment section move the hive so we listened to that advice we are listening to that advice lead farmer said last night also you have to move the hive because now they're going to come back and attack that area until there is not one bee left standing you know and what we read about the ball face hornet which is exactly what it is what we read about that hornet is that they are relentless they are relentless not only do they like the nectar but they also feed on the bees they take the they feed because they're they're meat eaters too and i believe rick riley said that in his post y'all i'm telling you you all are so knowledgeable and as we walk down this journey of beekeeping, we're still learning. I mean, like, like I said in the beginning, we just dove in with the uh, goal to, to just do it and to learn. And I mean, we did have some knowledge um, before we even purchased the bees. I mean, we didn't go in it not knowing anything. We did some research, we did some study for at least a year. So we have been learning along the way, but as I said yesterday, nothing prepares you for hands-on. Some of the things that I read, that was all good, but until I actually do it, she's still here. That's different. It's different, you know. So, yeah. I think the bees have settled down. We're gonna go over and have a look. Y'all, a lot of this brush is taller than I am. Listen. It's quiet on the inside. There's no roaring. It's 
quiet. Very quiet. Okay. So, there are some bees still out struggling about trying to find their way. I'm not concerned about trying to capture them. Uh, my concern was capturing the queen. And, um, oh boy, you know, getting her. Thank y'all so much. Led, thank you so much for suggesting to look around the tree line because you and Lady Led said it last night. Y'all said they didn't go far. They are still there. They didn't go far because because their options for searching for a home is uh, their options are few. So you said they didn't go far and true enough here's the hive and the tree i'm so glad we put them here with all of these trees around i'm so glad that we did that because they would have probably gone further if we would have not given them an option so we are moving these hives today <clears throat> When Mr. H gets in, we are moving them today. And I hate that I have to move my hives because this was the perfect location for them. They have the trees, they have the pond right here. They have that cover from the heat of the day from the south side, the hives are in a good spot. So I'm really frustrated that I have to move my hives. We are going to go looking for that hornet's nest. It is possibly in the brush somewhere, in a tree somewhere. We're not attempting to capture it or destroy it. We're wanting to locate it so that we can get an exterminator to come out and get it because that's what they do, you know? So, yeah, we don't know where it, what it is, but in our research, we know what to look for as far as what their houses look like. Um, or we can even create a, um, I think Barnyard Bees did a trap for um, yellow jackets, I believe it was. They did a yellow jacket trap. And it literally had thousands of yellow jackets in it and he had it right in his bee yard. So I don't want to put that here with my bees. I would like to draw them to <clears throat> an area just a little further away from the bees if possible, but we do want to kill them. Okay. I have bees want right here wanting to get inside. That's a good sign because that means their queen is in there because they're trying to get in there. That's a good sign. So yeah. <clears throat> so I know you all said that they'll be back and um, we were super concerned about our second hive. We have an entrance. We have an entrance reducer on that hive um, with the smallest entrance available so that they can defend the hive until we can move it. So, yeah. And the hornet's nest can't be really, really close because I believe if they were very, very close, I wouldn't be able to be out here right now. And um, I think they would be, I would see them. And actually, you all, that was my first time ever seeing that thing here. We've never seen a bald-faced hornet here. And as many times as I've come out here to the bee yard or in the garden even, I've never seen them. That was the first time that I had ever seen them here. 
So I'm hoping that they traveled from somewhere else and that their nest is not actually on our homestead. I don't know. But in any case, we have to relocate our hives. The bees are over here. They're around their old bee box because they're looking for their queen. But she's right here. Look at him outside the box. I think she's in here. I'm going to do my best to get this video up as quickly as I can because I know the advice is going to come pouring in. Uh, Led, if you're watching or listening to this video, you are Lady Led. I did send y'all that email uh, this morning, okay? So when you get a chance. All right, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to wait to hear from y'all. I'm going to wait to hear from y'all before I make any more moves. <laughs> This is one of those moments where I am going to deliberately choose paralysis over analysis. <laughs> I'm going to be still. So, y'all, I thank God so much for this. Thank everyone who commented below in yesterday's video. Um, thank everyone with the knowledge of the beekeeping, knowledge of uh, beekeeping. Rick Riley, thank you so much. Um, Led Farmer and Lady Led, thank y'all so much. They did a whole video last night, y'all. They went live last night to try to help us to solve this problem, to share with us what we can do because they are seasoned beekeepers. They've been doing this for years. Lady Led even rears her own queens. Go figure. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> so... We're going to change her name from Lady Led. That's Queen Le That's Queen B. <laughs> that's, the qu that's, that's the Queen B of bees. All right? So what we're going to do, you all, is um, go ahead and get this video up. I got bees around me still. Mr. H is calling. Thank you all so much for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video.